Hey guys, welcome back to Level Up Studios and in today today's video, this is a massive day in today's video, okay, uh, the Destiny 2 official reveal trailer has been released, um, I know we also had a previous reveal tra trailer, a teaser trailer released um, earlier on this week, a couple of days before um, Age of Triumph or when Age of Triumph actually got released, but today we, re we got um, a a minute or about a two minute video of Destiny 2. Now it's nothing, um, no gameplay at all, um, but it has some big, big spoilers in it. Okay, so we'll get into that and I'll get into the uh, release date. So let's go. So, okay, so with this video, as everybody knows um, and has speculated from all the leaks from Destiny and also from Mega Bloks who um, create the franchises. Um, uh, toy toy line. It's it's like Lego, but um, we have had hints of uh, the Cabal raiding the tower, and it does look like all those rumors have been confirmed, especially in the teaser trailer with Cade Six um, or Cade Nine, whatever. With Cade uh, in the reveal trailer, having a drink. Um, I'll put those videos up behind me, as you probably see. Um, but they are the Cabal, and now. It is a different faction or a different arm of the Cabal. It's the, I think the Red Banner or, or the Red Guard, um, led by this leader called uh, Goal. Um, and yeah, it, it's basically like another separate f uh, internal sleeper faction that is breaking off from the Cabal. Um, and they've attacked the tower now. They've attacked the tower, and in the video, in the in the reveal trailer, it does look like the tra traveler has been attacked as well. Um, you can see a lot of destruction and a lot of ships, a lot of fire. Um, it is very uh, Armageddon type, um, Armageddon type uh, setting, as you can see. And what I think is interesting with this reveal trailer is that you have Lord Shax, um, you have Cade, you have Akora, um, and basically Lord Shax is giving you a massive pep talk about how you need to band together to try and stop this Red Guard um, section of the Cabal because they've invaded the tower, or killed it, you know, destroyed the tower. You know, infected or, or destroyed the Traveler and have come down to the last city on Earth. Um, you see a lot of fighting as well. Uh, Cade really breaks up the sort of somber mood that uh, Lord Shax is giving with this pep talk thing he's doing. Um, but it's very Braveheart-like rallying your troops um, to do battle in, you know, to do battle and fight for the last city on Earth and actually fight for Earth. Some other interesting information has been coming from uh, Amazon.com when they have the product description of the Collector's Edition of Destiny 2. Um, now, they have uh, an item called a Frontier Bag, which is exclusive. It's actual bag you get with the Collector's Edition um, that you can use. It's like a messenger bag. Um, also, uh, it does say here that a character is named uh, Hawthorne. Okay, and it, the bag is something that she carries around, and Hawthorne has been um, on the last city on Earth, and she has been, you know, surviving without the help of Guardians her entire life, without her, their protection or anything like that. Um, in the product description as well, it does say that once the Cabal have invaded the tower, um, it, it does say that Guardians uh, are stripped of all their power and they're also forced uh, and it's forced the survivors to um, to flee uh, and you venture out into this mysterious new land um, and and basically we, we presume it's it's going to be the uh, last city on earth and you'll be on earth which is pretty cool um, not a different well it'll be a different section and you'll have to like you know explore and everything like that but it does seem that you know you are there to defend um, humanity um, once again, but um, does also seem that you know you have a lot of interaction with uh, a lot of other NPCs and, and things like that. So it, to drive the story, I, I do believe, as well as you know the current Destiny meta where you would travel to different planets. Our speculation is that you know you 
once you're on a planet, you will have different hubs uh, where you'll be getting uh, different quest sections there and you can spend a lot of time on those planets and explore those planets rather than the current design of Destiny where um, you would have to go to orbit all the time to go to the tower to get your bounties and, and do things like that. So what I believe and, and I think in my opinion that would be cool is that you know if they had quest hubs in or, or on those planets where you can traverse to and you know you can explore the land and everything like that yes they might have different raids and different strikes on there um, instead of teleporting around which I think they would need to still keep in there um, it'll be, it would be better if you know it was much open world um, that Destiny has to provide now at the end of the at the end of the trailer they actually do say you can pre-order to get a beta early access um, opportunity to you know to play it and in previous mentions they've actually said that the release was going to be in september and the beta access will be june sort of june july area um at the end of destiny 2 trailer um that has just been released they confirmed for a september 8 release 2017 um which is cool um so a june july beta would be uh it would make sense you know um just because you know to get the hype hype train running it some more and a lot of the destiny one players want to dip their hands and see what waiting all this time and 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 uh playing all these old raids and stuff like that would actually you know come come to provide them so if you go to destinythegame.com slash forward slash buy um they do have a pre-order section there to get beta early access now i'll go through the versions there is the standard edition which obviously you just it comes with the destiny game um you can get the uh the game plus the expansion pack now the expansion pass sorry the expansion pass will come with uh two expansions just very similar to the season pass from destiny one how we came it came with house of wolves and then the dark below um and then anything after that you basically need to purchase uh so they'll include two expansions with that one the digital deluxe deluxe which they offer as well will come with the game the expansion pass um and premium digital content which will be a legendary sword we don't know what that is yet um so it could be something from destiny one or something totally new that they're going to create uh you also get a legendary player remote and also a um cabal empire themed emblem which could be cool so you know that confirms a lot of things as well that it is you know it is cabal as well um you can get the limited edition uh which it's got the game it's got the expansion pass it's got the limited edition steelbook case uh, it's got a cabal themed collector's box containing uh a booklet of the secrets of the cabal empire um cabal schematic collectible postcard images, uh, Cabal military pawns, uh, and premium, the premium deluxe content, which is legendary sword, legendary player mode, and the Cabal empire themed emblem. Now for the collector's edition, um, you do get the game, you get the expansion pass, um, you get the frontier, destiny two frontier bag. Now this frontier bag is, as I said before, it is, uh, one of the items that a player or not a player an npc from the game that has been roaming around on the on the planet earth in the last city without the protection of guardians is using all that time so it's a customable bag that can be worn as a backpack or a messenger bag um, it, it can hold a 15 inch laptop or tablet it's got a sleeve for that one too with a protection pocket slip um, and i read somewhere on amazon that it has a usb solar panel for charging your you know, for charging your electronic devices and things like that. And then you get the limited edition um, packages as well. So basically you get your booklets, you get your Cabal schematic, collectible postcards, Cabal military pawns, and the premium digital content. So the collector's edition is the uh, creme de la creme of um, packages for uh, Destiny 2. So guys, there it is. It is a lot of exciting news a lot to digest right now um, I'm playing through Age of Triumphs which is awesome can't wait for Destiny 2 if you like some more videos on Destiny 2 or current Destiny um, I'll be starting to put a lot more up here and look I can't wait 
Um, and if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. That, that was inspiring. Also, there will be a ton of loot! Yeah! Uh, yeah, right? That's what I thought. Pre-order and get beta early access.